everyone, Tasha here. Today is Fin Health Matters Day, and I want to take a minute to talk about student financial health. I think we're all aware of the student loan debt crisis. Americans owe over $1.4 trillion in student loan debt. Something you may not know is that women hold two thirds of that debt, which really poses a unique financial challenge for women of this generation. Beyond that, students are struggling. So over 50% are having trouble making ends meet while they're in college and they're worried. Over 60% are worried or scared that they're not gonna be able to make their student loan payments or they're not gonna be able to finish school. So what can we do to help um, build financial health for students because we know that that financial stress has negative outcomes in multiple aspects of a person's life. It can affect your physical health, your relationships at home, your productivity at work, and it can lead you to make decisions that um, aren't what are best for your financial future. So what we want to do is share a couple of resources that can be really valuable when you're trying to plan for repaying your student loans. First, the National Student Loan Data System, a great place to go to get an overview of your loans, find out who your servicers are, um, what your balances are, and when your repayment's going to kick in. So go grab all that information there, and then you'll want to look at the repayment estimator on studentloan.gov. Find it here. Um, once you get there, you'll be able to see what repayment options exist for your loan beyond the standard one that is 10 years. Uh, so take a look, see what with the estimated income or your current income, what repayment options exist for you. If you go there and you're confused about your options or just want someone to kind of validate your decision, talk through it with you, then Apprizen is here to help. We offer free financial reviews and student loan counseling so that you can talk one-on-one -on -one, um, with someone who knows, knows these options um, as an expert in this area and can give you advice on what options work best for you. And just look at your budget and help you, help you be able to fit that into your budget. If you're not a student and you want to help students uh, build their financial health, then um, a couple of tips today. So one is uh, talk to the students in your life. So uh, in your circle of friends or your family, be open about the financial lessons that you have learned and share that information. And secondly, um, provide them with resources. So know what resources exist and share those with students who may be struggling. So Prison has a great list on our website. We've included the link here. Um, please go there, look at that list and, and share it with the students in your life. Um, the last thing I want to say is technology is also really giving us some cool options to help build financial health and, and particularly pay off student loans. So uh, one cool app is, is ChangeUp and that one helps you repay your student loans by rounding up um, on your purchases on your debit and credit card and then taking all that spare change and using it to repay your loans. So um, that's a cool one to check out. Uh, other apps like uh, Capital or Acorn can also help you build your financial health by I'm putting some simple little ways to make small, small contributions to your savings account on a regular basis and help you reach your financial goals. So hope everyone has a happy Fin Health Matters Day and we'll talk to you soon.